I'll continue on my walk here waiting for the light. Um, you know, this wasn't something that just, you know, out of emotion or spite or, you know, I never knew what I did to the Polish community. You know, I never did anything. I never did anything to ex Tina and her family, you know, the, the, you know, and I figured it was a little girl thing. She told me one day, I gave her this beautiful little jewelry box. She told me one day she didn't want to be my friend. Okay. I move on with my life. I go to college. Uh, my friends lure me home. I come back here. My marriage is set up, 20 year marriage. I'm a Polish whore, a Polish maid, whatever. And this is what the Polish community is doing here. Not, not anything, nothing. And my in-laws were very actively, actively involved in the Polonaise Society, um, uh, the Rosary Society, St. Stanislaus. I was a Girl Scout there. I had her son, a Girl Scout at St. Stanislaus. I had my Girl Scouts leader sons or relatives down at the police station, calling me a prostitute, telling me to go walk the streets. Okay, this is what we have in this community. So I'd like to ask these people, I'd like to ask Mr. Tonko and Extina painting Easter eggs down to the library, what the hell was going on when they were destroying my home with the orgies downstairs and the filth that was going on with these people. Another guy I went to high school with, Mr. Vogel. I'd like to ask you, what kind of freedom is this? It was absolutely disgusting downstairs. Cops in and out, everybody laughing and joking. That's the hookup economy. That, that, that's what we do. And that's what my ex was, was going on and on about. Polish whores, Polish maids. I like to ask the community what it is they all think they're doing. Because to me, it was despicable. It's despicable here now. Crack houses everywhere. I'm told I, I, I gotta go turn tricks now. I can't get a job. And oh, it's your fault. Let's have a dialogue about whose fault some of this is. Okay, let's take some responsibility for whose fault this is. Be safe out there, guys.